Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Wind Down Live. I am the host here at this weekly show. My name is Shayla Vernado. I'm also the founder of Black Girls Wine. And here at Black Girls Wine, every single week we go live and we review a new wine. Now, I put a wine up in my stories this morning and you guys voted for the wine that you wanted me to drink tonight. So I'm excited to show you what I'll be enjoying. If you're new here and this is your first time watching this show, I just want to say welcome. I'm here every week and I review a wine to help you expand your palate and find your next favorite. Now, you're probably wondering if you are new here, what the heck is Black Girls Wine? What's it all about? Listen, Black Girls Wine is a lifestyle brand that I started back in 2016. It's an organization that celebrates black girl magic and empowers diversity in the wine industry. Now, we also have the Black Girls Wine Society, which it is across, <laughs> it's across the country. Hello, hello. I got to tell my wine friends hello. The Black Girls Wine Society expands across the country. And I'm so excited because our organization is growing. We grew um, so much in the last week with our recent announcement that our chapters are completely closed. Um, so membership will not be open again for a little bit. Um, and so if you have any questions, you can DM us, but our March events look like they're going to be so much fun and I'm excited. So let's say hello to everyone. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Janice. Hi, Dominique. Hi, Tiffany. Let's see. The IG fam is on. Hi, Report. Hey, Chanel. Chanel said it's her first time watching on IG. Oh, yes. IG is fun too. Um. Chanel usually watches on Facebook with us. Hi, Salah. Did I say that right? Um, hi, Mimi. All right. So I just want to say hi to everybody. Hi, LJ67. Um, hey, hi. Hey, McMerritt. <laughs> um, hey, Gail. Hey, Christian. Okay, so I put it up to you guys. And let me make sure. Hold on, Facebook, because... I like cannot see. Okay, so my screen was dark. I can see now. <laughs> Hi, Athena. Okay, so tonight we are going to be drinking a Rioja. And I'm excited because, listen, you guys voted for this. I gave y'all the option. So Rioja, this is a red wine. Um, it, uh, it's, it's a... It's it's called it's real huh, is the name of it actually it's a Tempranillo, um so I'm excited it's 2012 oh we got a throwback bottle tonight hey <laughs> thanks mom hey dad look my parents dad you jumped over to IG uh, <laughs> so I'm excited we're gonna unbottle this we're gonna get ready for the first giveaway hey Crystal thank you Christian um so what I'm gonna do also for those of you who are logging on um some of you participated in the first week giveaway and some of you tagged a little bit later so what I'm gonna do actually is next week I'm gonna do two giveaways when we open up okay because I don't want to miss anyone and I noticed that some of you um you know tagged your tagged your wine friends um to become wine friends with us and I don't want to leave anyone out so thank you Sayla um I might be saying that wrong tell me if I'm saying that wrong is it Sayla Salah. Um, what are you guys drinking tonight? Hi, Angelia. She's so happy to be in this group. Angelia, we are happy to have you. Welcome to the BGW family. Um, where are all the society members at? Who's watching in there in the society? Represent. What's going on? Tell us what chapter you're in. Tell us you're excited, how excited you are about the March event and what you're loving. All right. So listen, guys, I have been oh so busy prepping for the the checking for the uh retreat this year i'm excited you guys we toured the space you will get to see a little behind the scenes in a blog upcoming blog and listen when i tell y'all i'm excited about the retreat this year it's going to be amazing um spaces are already filling so if you're interested in going now's the time to sign up the first Payment plan option is officially gone. It's no longer available, but there is a new option there. And if you want to sign up under that option, you might want to go ahead and get on it, sis. So, um, because once, listen, the option will be available through the end of the month or, and or, until um, the retreat is full. Okay. So I just want to put that out there so you guys know. I'm excited. 
Hey, Ashley, thank you. What are we drinking tonight? Rosé is drinking Rosé by Whisper... I said Rosé. Ashley is drinking Rosé by Whispering Angels. What y'all drinking? Yes, the Be More chapter is representing over on Facebook. I'm drinking a Tempranillo tonight. I'm really excited. This wine... And y'all know what? <laughs> this wine is actually uh, from Naked Wines, actually. And I can't quite... It's from Morum. It's Morum Rioja. And it just looks, it y'all, it just looks, at, the bottle's so pretty. You know, we talk about the bottle getting you, right? So this is one of those ones that I would go and pick up and, and it would like, this would get me. This is pretty. So, yes, E. Hill said she made her deposit and she's excited for the retreat. Ew, we can't wait to have you. Um, Listen, this bottle would have got me. All right, are y'all ready for the first giveaway? Okay, MD said she's drinking a Pinot Noir from Smith Story. Ooh, yes. Chanel says she hopes her girls are representing on Facebook. I, you know what, Chanel? I haven't seen any, any of our Detroit sisters. Um, hey, Max. Max said, friend, oh, thank you. Um, Chanel says she picks up the pretty label suit. Listen, I'm trying to, like, get out of that habit because a pretty bottle will get me every time. Give us the link for the retreat. Um, Chanel, can you drop that? <laughs> oh, Max, too much sauce. Thank you, boo. Listen, listen. So the link to the retreat, in case any of my any of my ambassadors can drop it um, on both sides, it's blackgirlswine.com forward slash retreat, okay? So the retreat link is blackgirlswine.com forward slash retreat. Chanel's going to drop that for you. And, um... Detroit is here. Okay, Lisa's in the building. <laughs> you guys know what I found out today? I was looking at all of the... Oh, Lord, my earring fell, guys. If this is the bottle, though. I was looking at all of the numbers for Black Girls Wine. I'm going to put my earring back in while we're talking because we're getting ready to do the first giveaway. Um, and when I was looking at the numbers, we have a large percentage of people from New York and Detroit. Those are the top cities on across all platforms is new york and detroit new york is top on instagram detroit is top on facebook and i was really surprised <laughs> i really was um but we've got a lot of a lot of people in those areas so yes allison is drinking a big girl's wine tonight come on stags leap allison i'll be over to have a little sip okay <laughs> um so i said atlanta we have a huge presence in atlanta too atlanta is actually in our top two on both pages um so atlanta was number three a couple weeks ago and they are number two now so that's really exciting um we're getting ready to do the first giveaway are y'all ready y'all ready y'all ready um yes i'm so ready for summer and you guys see i cut my nails down too oh my goodness i know <laughs> i cut them down i was like you know i need something different something fresh sometimes i wear them short sometimes i wear them long so i just thought i'd do something different this time um new jersey checking in yes charlotte oh i love charlotte i love charlotte it's like my little home away from home. I hate to drive, but once I get there, I always have a good time. And I've got a ton of friends there. So, <laughs> hey, Beatrice. How are you, Beatrice? Representing from Dallas. <laughs> All right. So, tonight, I'm going to ask you guys. No, I'm going to say a word tonight. I'm in the mood for a word. So, I'm going to say a word. And then I want you guys to um, let me know. <laughs> I want you guys to let me know. Um first we're gonna test and see if you can spell it out okay the word is a hard one a kind of hard kind of hard it's not gonna be super hard but y'all gonna i'm gonna see if y'all can spell tonight y'all ready <laughs> so i'm gonna count down looks like we got atl in the building richmond hey husband um let's see i'm going to say a word and if you're new here this is how the rules work okay max is checking in from durham slash houston you're definitely in houston now um <laughs> Hey, damn. Okay, so these are the rules. Number one, you have to have shared the video. So what that means, if you're on Facebook, you just got to hit the share button. It's usually right down in the bottom of the screen here. And if you're on Instagram, you just have to send it over with a little paper plane. Just kind of hit that paper plane and send it to a couple of your friends. Put it in your stories. Let them know you're watching Wind Down Live, okay? Hey, Mary. Hello, sommelier. I don't... Tiziano? Did I say that right? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> so once you share the video, I'm going to say a word. And the first person to type it correctly, it has to be spelled correctly. Now, if you spell it wrong, it's not my fault. It's yours. Okay. 
<laughs> but you have to be the one to spell it correctly and type it first, and then you're eligible to win the first giveaway. Okay? So those are the rules. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> All right. Hey, Dominique is checking in with us from Charleston. Hey, Cassie, our Richmond ambassador. Look, I'm just saying hey to everyone. Hello, hello, 2022 campaign committee. Ow. Um, all right. Are y'all ready? So, drop a wine glass if you shared the word already. I mean, if you shared the video. Did you share the video? Let me see if you shared the video. Drop a wine glass. I poured my wine for the night. And I'm ready to sip and enjoy and give away some stuff. Are y'all ready? Drop a wine glass if you share. While I look at this. Where are my wine glasses? Did y'all share the video? Okay. God, this smells so good. I'm ready to talk about it and get into it, y'all. It smells amazing. Oh, gosh. I smell like cherries. Mmm. There's a spice there. I want to say like a cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Oh, it smells good. You know, I was watching uh, another Wine Friends Live uh, earlier this week. Her name is, oh gosh, it's going to slip me and she's going to kill me. Um, I'll think about it as I'm talking to y'all. But I was watching her live and it was so interesting. I'm going to teach you guys something. So a lot of times she was saying that she like never smells cinnamon in wine, like at all. And I was like, really? I was like, I smell cinnamon a lot. But that depends on your palate and your right your sensory experience in life okay so i smell cinnamon a lot i cook with cinnamon a lot and i use it in a lot of stuff i eat a lot of sweet potatoes so i like use cinnamon every week <laughs> um so like i use it a lot and so basically my sensory um experience in life has just led me to a lot of cinnamon whereas she's like really i never even use it and so she doesn't really have a um consistent frame of reference for the smell so she doesn't usually pick it up which is so interesting some it's not always the case but whenever you're smelling, you know, when you get to the sniff phase of tasting your wine, you have to realize that everyone's nose, everyone's palate, and everyone's senses are created differently, right? Because what life has led you to smell, your grandma probably cooked some stuff my grandma didn't. My mom probably cooked some stuff your mom didn't, right? And so everyone's experience is different. So we all have different references in our mind for the way things smell or the way things, um, you know, the way things kind of show up for us when we start smelling other things and especially wine. So Dap said, go into your spice cabinet and smell everything. Be weird for like five minutes a night. I agree. You have to do that. So I have started doing that. Listen, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a secret. I've been doing it in the grocery store. <laughs> And this is why, listen, I've been doing that in the grocery store because I want to start to pick up on other smells in my wine. So I do smell other things now. I've been drinking and doing this show long enough that I do smell other things when I'm trying to pick up stuff, um, as, pick up scents as I'm smelling. But this is the thing. <laughs> I still have a very, like, I'm still trying to expand that, right? So for those of you who watch the show regularly, you know, I don't really... I don't really eat a lot of berries. Like, I don't eat anything ending in airy. E-R-R-Y. Not cherry, not blueberry, not strawberry. None of that. <laughs> very weird. Very weird. But I know what those things smell like. Like, even though I don't have a taste reference for it, um, I know what it smells like. So, I usually can pick it up when I'm smelling it. Um, I like cherry fruit snacks. That's weird. And I don't like cherries. <laughs> But I like cherry fruit snacks. So I just wanted to throw that out there and just kind of share that with you guys so that when you're going to wine tastings and things, don't ever feel like you can't share what you smell. It's okay. Okay. Um, Max, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I was a wine buyer at Whole Foods, I would visit the produce department every day and smell everything. Right. You got to smell everything. Thena said that she likes to smell fresh spices in the grocery store like cilantro and rosemary. That's really important. It teaches you. That's great, Thena. It teaches you to like learn to pick up those scents when it comes to your wines and smelling things. And I feel just a teeny bit congested. So that's probably why my smells are kind of, you know. All right. This is the first giveaway of the night. If you're the first person to type this word and you've already shared the video, then you get you get an opportunity to win, okay? But you got to be first to type the word. You got to spell it right. The first word of tonight is tempranillo. Can you spell it? It is the grape that is featured in my glass tonight. <laughs> we are having te a tempranillo. Um, 
Oh, it smells so good. And I'm going to read this to you guys about the wine while you guys type in the word. And you better spell it right, okay? All right. So this is the top of my range, a classic red Rioja. It's made from the best Tempranillo grapes your money can buy and aged for a long time, an American oak cask. I hope you enjoy the flavors of the mature red fruits with some soft vanilla and spice. I told y'all I spelled spice. Um, perfect for heavy stew, hearty stews, game and steak dishes, or enjoy with your feet up in front of the fire with cheese and biscuits. Muchas gracias, Carlos Rodriguez. Listen, I enjoy a good cheese and biscuit, honey, okay? Let's see who got it right. Tempranillo! Alicia. Alicia is the first one on Facebook and on Instagram. Calm Wilson. Wait, is that right? Top Calm Wilson. Calm Courtney. That's Courtney. <laughs> Courtney, you get to win. Chanel said, I honestly never thought of that. I guess I'm going to be weird the next time I go to the grocery store. Girl, do it. Max says she re recently started back doing it at the store and tasting common wine aromas to strengthen her palate. That's what I'm working on. I want to strengthen my palate. Um, all right. So those were the winners for our first giveaway and stay tuned we're gonna do another one don't worry you still get a chance um just go ahead and share that share that video okay all right let's get into this wine and i love guys i keep my wheel right by me now if you don't have one of these you can um i can drop the link to the amazon store i already have it you don't even have to look for it girl i have it for you this thing is amazing and what it is is just a wine wheel it's from wine folly <laughs> And it has all of the different like um, possible fragrances and tastes and um, everything that you may pick up in your wine when you're drinking it. Okay, let's get into this one. I definitely am getting the cherry. Now that I'm looking at my wheel with some options, I feel like I am getting a little pomegranate actually. Oh, and Dap said, make sure you do this sniffing at the florist as well. That's a major key, y'all. That's good. That's good. Um, mm. Mm. I like this. I like this a lot. Mm. It's a now let me tell y'all something. Here we have something called a transition wine, okay? And a lot of people will ask us, um, sorry guys, I was looking for a little tissue. Um, a lot of people will ask, well, what's a transition wine? Because that is a term that I kind of like made up. Um, <laughs> so a transition wine here at Black Girls Wine, I mean, it's a wine that if you're currently in the sweet range of being a wine lover, right? You like your sweet wines, you don't really veer off, and but you are interested in growing, then we would suggest a transition wine to you to take you from sweet to starting to expand your palate to more dry wines. This Tempranillo, this Rioja is not a transition wine okay so if you're a newbie i would not suggest this wine it's a very very bold red um i am getting nothing but spice on the tongue hold on it's heavy spice i taste cinnamon i get a little nutmeg this is a really tasty bold red um now this would pair really well with a burger I don't eat meat anymore, but if I did, honey, I would eat this with a burger. It's very, very good. Oh, it's rich. You know how you have a, it's very velvety on the palate. This is a good red. I'm going to show y'all what I'm drinking again, just so you can see it. It's Morum Rioja. Okay. It is tasty. I wanted y'all to see it again in case y'all want to go pick it up at Naked Wines, okay? Uh, Alicia said five guys. You know it, girl. You know I love me some five guys back in the day when I still ate meat. <laughs> so I would definitely pair this with a big, juicy, fat burger. It would complement so well. And I don't know about you guys. How y'all like y'all burgers? A Beyond Meat burger. Yes, I will eat a Beyond Meat burger. I will. I would definitely have this with that. How y'all like your burgers? So you can't pair this with a burger if you're going to put a ton of stuff on it, okay? So if you're one of those people who likes to load your burger up with stuff, you're just going to do too much for the wine, all right? I'm a simple burger girl. A little mayo, a little burger, a little bun. I don't need much else. I can have a little lettuce, but I don't need much else. And I think that this wine would pair really well. You let the burger really stand up next to it. 
it's going to be a great match. Okay. Um, and you can definitely do this with steak if you are a meat eater. This will be very good with a good steak. Um, this is something, you know, maybe this is something I can give my husband, you guys. Like, I could just, you know, sneak it to him and be like, hey, babe, taste this. Maybe he would fall in love with a good red if I gave it to him with a steak. Because he's a steak guy. <laughs> uh, Dap said, running over some tap water. First of all, that's nasty. Um, tap water. Gotta have cheese and bacon. See, that's a lot on a burger. How about lamb? I actually don't eat lamb, but I'm sure all of the lamb eaters, do you have your bold? Would you have your bold red with this? I would have to look into that. I don't eat lamb. Max, what do you think? <laughs> um, I try to stay. I, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from things that are like alive and we have to kill them to eat them. Oh, lamb sliders are delicious. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Facebook, where y'all at tonight? Y'all quiet. Y'all eat lamb over there? Alicia said absolutely. Chanel is a chef. She's our Detroit ambassador. She said that it would go great. So if you're a lamb lover, here we go. All right, it pairs so well with Spanish spiced almonds or meatballs and a red chili sauce. Oh, Courtney. God, that sounds good. Absolutely would have it with lamb. Okay, Allison says she's having it too with some harissa and tzatziki sauce. Let's see, y'all going like over here. <laughs> Way over here. Yes, I had some. Gail says she loves lamb. Um, J.E. said she likes lamb burgers. are so good. Shanda said she eats lambs as a delicacy. Okay, y'all are like real lamb people. Okay, well, I know if we have a BGW event, we got to have some lamb for y'all. <laughs> I don't eat it. Lamb chops? Okay, first of all, that was a show, and that's offensive to lamb chop, okay? I will not stand for that talk here on Wind Down Live, okay? <laughs> Max says she agrees, she agrees with lamb. Oh my goodness, Cassie, I can't believe you. <laughs> lamb meatballs? I didn't even know lamb could be made into meatballs, but I guess any meat can, just about. Mary had a little lamb seat. You guys are just, oh! So offensive. I don't know about y'all tonight. <laughs> all right. All right. Are y'all ready for this next giveaway? Y'all ready? It's time for the final giveaway. I feel so naked without my music. I, I realized like midway in the beginning of the show that I didn't have music tonight. And I'm just like, Lord, it's a little bit different when I'm trying to like do the show without any music. But, you know, it's okay. All right, we're going to do the last giveaway of the night. For all of you who are interested in attending the retreat, we do have some slots left, but I'm telling you guys, this retreat is going to max out by the end of the month. I know it is because we had um, probably about 25%, 25 to 30% of people max or have already purchased tickets. So we're already almost at 50% capacity. So don't say that I did not warn you okay i don't want y'all dming me in may and june like oh can i come because we have 20 solid slots and we do 20 because we like to create a very intimate experience and mm, excuse me guys if you're new here why it makes me burp it doesn't matter what 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 varietal it is <laughs> so um retreat details yes i have details of course so the black girls wine retreat is going to be held in richmond virginia this year and we will have five wine classes. Look, I almost put up the four, y'all. <laughs> we'll have five wine classes. Um, we are going to host the wine, an official wine game. So if you haven't ever heard of it, Wine Game is an app that was created by two, in, well, an engineer and a wine lover. And I actually have met the engineer. He's going to come down during the retreat. He'll be the only guy we see all weekend. Um, but <laughs> we're going to come down. Uh, <laughs> Dap said he's witnessed the burp action in person. For real. Why it makes me burp? It doesn't matter. Um, but <laughs> he's going to come down and help me host an official wine game. And I'm really excited, you guys. I've judged for the wine game competitions that they've had here in Richmond when I have been the only one in the room who looks like me. So I'm really excited to bring this to the retreat and bring it to um, our community, to this experience. And I think that I know that you guys are really going to enjoy it. It's a good time. It's a lot of wine. So you will be Ubering back to your hotel, <laughs> but it is a whole lot of fun. Y'all, I had a ball doing it both times and I made sure I had to eat a lot. So <laughs> Dad said, don't give Shayla bubbly. Facts. Bubbly is even worse. If you, you've not seen me burp until you've seen me drink bubbly. And that happens to be one of my favorites. <laughs> All right. So 
We're doing an official wine game. And then to close out the weekend, we are actually going to also be doing a blind tasting. So I have wine professionals coming from all across the country who will be teaching a class. All right. We have teaching one of five classes. And with these classes, you're going to be learning and be learning a lot. Okay. So as you're learning, you have to retain and then we're going to do a blind tasting. And of course, we've got some really amazing prizes. So it's going to be a really fun weekend. We're featuring black chefs all weekend. Y'all. I cannot wait. This is going to be a phenomenal experience. And the theme this year is tropical. It's tropical wine experience. So we're putting all the, look, we're bringing all that tropical energy to the space. There will be outdoor meals. Um, these black chefs that I have found are going to like be preparing some amazingness. I really am looking forward to putting this together. My team and I have been meeting. And like I said, we toured the space today. So we, you'll get to see some of the behind the scenes in one of the upcoming vlogs that I released so that's exciting yay all right Tisha said I didn't rate the wine Tisha you're absolutely right so I am going to give this Rioja a hmm hold on let me take another sip hmm honestly you guys I'm gonna give it an 8.5 it's very good 8.5 it is, it's, I wouldn't make this a, hmm, I, to me, this is like one of those special night wines. Like, this is one of those wines that, you know, when babe's at home, I'm going to make me a Beyond Burger, I'm going to fix him some steak, and I'm going to pop this bottle, and this will be like just a bottle for the two of us. To me, this is a date night wine. It's a bold red. It can stand up against a, any heavy food that you're going to pair it with. Um, so, I'm going to give it an 8.5. It's good. Um, I got it from Naked Wines, okay, nakedwines.com, um, and you can order single bottles, or you can get the, they have like the half a case, whole case, you know, they've got some options there, so I'm really, I really, really am enjoying it, um, so I'm really excited about everything that Black Girls Wines has going on, again, if you're interested in the retreat, um, you can click the link Chanel posted it over on Instagram or you can click the link in our bio and on Facebook Alicia posted it so what is the average cost folks pay for their bottles what do you mean um for naked wines or like and what do you mean pay for their bottles where um I usually order a case um or half a case so this came in a half a case so I don't know the individual price of this bottle my guess is around 40 bucks between 30 and 40 dollars uh thank you dorothy said she really likes my earrings thank you thank you winking owl i have not had winking owl um rioja is the purest expression of the tempranillo i can believe that it's really good um camus i have not had camus yet they had a camus tasting here in richmond and i wanted to go but i was not feeling well that weekend Girl, i was upset that i missed that camus tasting here in richmond um, in general at a store. So Shanda, that depends on a lot of factors. Um, and it depends on the drinker. Because if you're somebody who's new to wine, you may go for a 10 to $15 bottle. If you mean what's the average cost that I pay for a bottle of wine or one of my wine friends pay for a bottle of wine, we easily could go between, what do you say, max 30 to 50, 30 to 50, depending on the occasion, you know, just picking it up. So how much you spend for a bottle of wine really is going to depend on what you're looking for, what region you're buying from, um, what, how it's made, um, all kinds of stuff. Donna said, Camus is delicious. And Lauren said, I'm going to love it. Listen, you got, I really want to have some. I feel like I need to host my own Camus tasting. Look, I'm like, I'm just going to order a bunch of it and host the tasting. Who wants to taste it with me? Look. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it really just depends, Shanda, on what you're looking for, what store you're in, that kind of thing. Um, because all stores have ranges for whatever you may be looking for or interested in. Hey, Angela. And so it is going to depend on what your palate is ready for. And honestly, the more wine that you drink, um, you tend to gravitate towards the more uh, expensive bottles anyway, the more you drink because, and not all the time, but a lot of times it's because, you know, 
um, you start to drink more, you get exposed to more, you have um, different varietals from different regions, like Dap said. So Trader Joe's has a decent Tempranillo wine if you're trying it for the first time and it won't break the bank. So Courtney said you can go to Trader Joe's for a decent Tempranillo wine if you're trying one for the first time and you don't want to break the bank. So that's a good reference if you have a Trader Joe's near you. Um, you can pick up a Tempranillo, which is the varietal that I'm having tonight, and pick it up. Yeah. You can pick it up and kind of just see, is this a, is this a good, is this good for me? And that's another thing, like, that can be tricky when it comes to wine, when you're tasting it. My suggestion to everybody when they ask me, like, what wine should I start with? What should I try first? Is go to some wine festivals. Go to wine tastings. Wine tastings. Wine festivals, they range different prices and everything. And even if you pay $50 for a wine festival, you most likely will get to try like 100 plus wines. And so what that's going to do is allow you to open up your palate, try more options available to you. Um, and you'll kind of start to find your, fa your fragrance at a fraction of the price. Uh, no problem, Shanda. I know how. Listen, I always ask if I pronounce somebody's name right because I like people to pronounce mine right. Um, Shanda said she just heard that Trader Joe's has decent wine. I've heard that too. I've tried it, tried one or two of them. Um, uh, Gail said that season fifty two is running a Camus tasting. I there's no Camus near me. I mean, no season fifty two near me, so I couldn't try it if I wanted to. Or I don't think there's one in Richmond at all. Um, we got a lot of food, though. We do have a lot of food. <laughs> um, is there a Los Angeles ambassador? We are actually on the hunt for one. So if you or someone you know may be interested in leading a chapter in Los Angeles, definitely go to blackgirlswinesociety.com and apply. All right. I'm going to do this last giveaway. Winners, remember, in order to claim your prize, you have to DM me, okay? I cannot chase you down. We have quite a few people who join the show every single night. Last week, we hit about 1,100 views. And that was at 9 o'clock, like when I logged off. So there's a lot of people that log on and that talk to us. So make sure you, um, you know, D DM the Black Girls Wine page so that someone, me or someone from my team can respond and get you um, your prize. Okay? Come to Baltimore. Gail, that's a good idea. I just might have to. I think I might have to. You gonna take look, Gail? Are you gonna show me around town if I come to Baltimore? Um, Gail says try before you buy, and that is one advantage that wine tastings and um, you know festivals, wine events. Look for wine events in your city that really will allow you to taste different things. That's the best way to kind of expand your palate and learn what you like. The more you try the more your palate will expand and the more you're going to kind of be like, you know what? I like red. I don't like this. I don't like that. You know, you'll kind of be able to get a feel for what it is that you prefer. So, oh, y'all, my earring is not letting me be great tonight. Are y'all ready for this last giveaway? Hi, sweet Rita. And I just want to let you guys know, by the way, when it comes to the giveaways, a lot of times on your screen, your name is first. But the name that comes up on my screen is because I, my, my, account is filtering everyone you i can see who can actually type it first so i just want to give you guys a heads up on that okay but i will check it don't worry sweet Rita. i will check it um allison said if you come to atlanta we should have camus and other big girl wines yes allison actually i'll be back in atlanta in june i'm gonna hold you to that <laughs> they have camus at the virginia wine station really i still have money on my virginia wine station card so I'm going to have to venture on over to the Virginia Wine Station this weekend. I'll vlog it. Don't y'all worry. All right. So, last giveaway. Here we go. And this one I'm going to make super easy. It's a question and we will see who has been paying attention. I've been chatting with you guys tonight, answering your questions and teaching you what, as I'm learning, right? Um, so... The question of the night that you have to answer. Remember, you have to have shared the video. So I'm going to ask you a question. Facebook, hit that share button or you will be disqualified. Okay? Instagram, hit that little share right there. Right there. Okay? All right, here we go. What is the theme for this year's Black Girls Wine Retreat? And I made it easy. I made it super easy for you. What is the theme for this year's Black Girls Wine Retreat. The first person to type it is the winner. And you have to share the video. 
I want to see the theme. I want y'all not gonna write it out. Y'all just gonna y'all just gonna type the first words. Is that y'all doing me tonight? All right, all right. Miss Mimi was first on the gram. And let's see. Facebook is moving a little slow, so I'm trying to wait. Alicia said that was super easy. It was super easy. Beatrice! Beatrice, you win every week. Girl, your fingers be fast. <laughs> Dominique is the one. Dominique, I got a special prize for you because you typed it out. But Beatrice was first on Facebook. Miss Mimi was first on Instagram. Dominique, you get a special prize for me because you typed out the whole thing. <laughs> Tropical wine experience is the theme for this year's Black Girls Wine Retreat. And I absolutely cannot wait to bring this um, theme to life. And by the way, for all of our attendees, if you're watching, listen, I'm totally down with us dressing on theme too, okay? I'm really, really going to have like flowers in my hair and all kinds of stuff, okay? All right, guys, if you're on Facebook, you know I'll be dropping into our super secret, not so secret Facebook group, <laughs> the Black Girls Wine Family group for our after show. And if you've never taken part in our after show, definitely make sure you join the group so that you can take part in it. OK, I'm just going to go live over in the group. We have a good time. It's a good girl time. Like we laugh, we kiki, we keep drinking and we have fun. So I'll see you guys over on the after show. Have a good night. Cheers. All right, Facebook, I'm going to see y'all in the group.